doing so extremely well. Uh, we even saw a 40% flash kick, you know, saying how strong it was in Twitch chat a little bit earlier. So this time it is the Rashid. So I, I indeed I would have been a good better, but let's see if it's improved since we last saw it. It's definitely a different flavor. I was just a hater, mostly because like I really appreciated Burkish's Urian, and I felt like there was something to Burkish's play that I didn't see represented in his Rashid in five. But Six is a very different beast, and Rashid is a different character within this engine. So let's see how it pans out. Actually, Zangief is tall enough that some of these tornadoes are still managing to clip him uh, yep. at like three quarter screen there. Interesting. Which is not a super common thing you have to worry about because not a whole lot of projectiles have that type of arc. But when it does have to be something you worry about, it is brutal. Nice right, little you can see that Burkish, yeah, and you can see that Burkish is really trying to live just outside of like crouching jab, low forward range. Not really wants to live in that like with punish zone. Oh, wanted the pickup off of the standing short, but a little late with the drive rush cancel. Oh, and you're dead on the OD running bear grab. Ramsey catching Burkish asleep at the wheel just a hair. Ends up winning the round again, round start again. But Burkish immediately trading back here with a punish counter, strangely enough. Gets the regular throw. Yeah, went for a little shimmy there. Caught out Ramsey doing something that he should not have. That's something that, like, that is an element of Rashid play that if you played Rashid in five, you're going to be super comfortable representing that. Nice pick up in the corner. Decent damage. Next touch could be huge. The tricky movement. How far is... Okay, Ramsey actually waiting it all out. But the drive rush back in. And we're setting up the level two because we just want to burn him out. Yeah, there's... Even without a bug, it is a tough thing to deal with in the corner. And I don't actually know what tools Geef can even represent there. Realistically, right? Because there's no real reversal. The... Um... The twirl move has been completely, you know, neutered in this version compared to five. So I, I wonder, I wonder if the choice would have been to like block the first hit, immediately drive reversal, put yourself in burnout, but hope that you iframe through the rest of the tornado. That's the only thing I can come up with, and that was kind of my thought the last time we had Rashid on screen, but we didn't get a chance to see it either. But we're gonna get another level two. The parry just gets explodes. Yeah, it looks like he parry pumped and then got punished counter for his trouble. God damn, that did a grip of damage. I am uh, never prepared for OD SPD damage. It's a lot. Uh, and apparently Burkish wasn't quite ready for it either. But they'll get more chances. It seems like maybe Burkish isn't used to the way that Rashid wants you to be buffering drive rush cancel because that's now the second time that we've seen like standing medium kick and then a late drive rush cancel after that becomes a, a mix up rather than a pickup. Oh no. Burke is just really fish annihilated on these whiff punishes too. Yeah, I wonder how much of that is muscle memory too. I know Stan Roundhouse from Rashid is like a I think it's like a diet launcher on on counter hit a punish counter or something. Um but I know Roundhouse was a button that Ryu wanted to use uh, uh, a fair bit. Did he say happy birthday when he did OD Tornado? I didn't hear it. Is it Geef's birthday? I don't think so. Because there was Quick, that turn Ryu on commentary thing. settings. Vicious will tell us. <laughs> no, that's a character select. Gets the meaty throw. I love that. Using the empowered move speed to get to the other side, setting up the tornado level two. And just on the last hit there, it works out here for Burkish. They get the relaunch, but they can't quite close it out, but it's okay. The throw's there to back them up. All right, works out another round on the board now for Burkish. So Dan said yes oh. in the chat, but I don't know what he said yes to. I think he said yes to Rashid saying happy birthday. Oh, okay. Hard knockdown here. Ramsey going in again. So not ready for these throws after the drive rush. It's wild because after the drive rush, like it, it feels like the throw animation, it almost looks like a Kara throw with how quick his body displaces forward into the throw animation. We do see the SPD now out of Ramsey. One more touch could do it, and I have to imagine Burkish is scared about throw with how much Ramsey has been planting that seed. And we saw the last time Ramsey was on screen how good their their kind of neutral game is around Geef's new buttons because they went almost an entire set with like 
two throws total. And this is the opposite. Ooh. Got the punish counter version even. Yeah, definitely has a read that Burkish is trying to check with buttons, checking these drive rushes. Now, you and I know, because we watched meter management, we saw Burkish versus Kevin Tech. We know that, you know, there are players, and Burkish is one of them, who will try to check these DRs, and that one of the layers you can do to come out of that is to buffer things out of your drive rush to specifically punish your opponent for trying to check your forward movement. And Ramsey's bringing that to a whole nother degree by bringing SPD. Yeah, and I mean, so far this round, we've seen a lot of crouch light kick from Burkish, potentially trying to read into those DRs, like you were just saying, but they're not getting anything out of it yet. They do get some advancing momentum, though, even getting the Slover head to connect. All right. Regular throw. Not a bad spot here. Punish counter throw is going to be enough to do it. Burkish draws first blood this time. And this is, this is definitely a must-win scenario now for Burkish, who is already down 2-0 against a kind of snowball-y type character. So any momentum that Burkish can hold on to from here on out is vital. Yeah. I will say, I think that Burkish has already made an adjustment here using less standing medium kick, more crouching medium kick, and the drive rush buffers afterwards are working oh out much more in his favor, juggled? but that is unfortunate. Yeah, punish counter off of the, uh, the low crush there. Clipped because Burkish is so afraid of the command grab. It is the exact opposite of what I highlighted in Ramsey's ladder match. Ramsey's been so throw happy that now in that moment, ready to flip it on his head when the time really counts. Ramsey on set point. Ramsey looking incredibly strong here tonight. Gonna get another corner situation on their terms, and mm. it's not what so you want to see if you're Burkish. That's oh, uh, that's burnout here for Ramsey, but it's possibly a one-touch situation. Empty jump, SPD. Burkish goes into the level two now with Ramsey and burnout. But how far is he going to be able to press this? Jump back because he doesn't want to deal with the possibility of command grab off of minus frames. Burkish truthfully cannot end up too negative at any point. But while Ramsey's in burnout, you need to keep pressing the issue. Now his offense is so stymied, he needed those extra four frames. Great check on the forward movement, but this is still one or two. This is like two, maybe three touches. Do have the level one on the back pocket there, though, so... Actually, he immediately cancels into the level two off of that wake up, but not enough to close it out. Oh my God, forward jump out of Ramsey. Not, no anti-air ready. Burkish just barely has the life lead and he checks the forward momentum with the standing roundhouse that time. Burkish is able to close out a game. Two games to one now. Ramsey's still in the driver's seat, but Burkish starting to claw his way back. That was really dicey. There were so many ways for that to go wrong for Burkish, but... And and Roundhouse was getting smoked so frequently, but he was still willing to go to that tool. Sometimes it's just, you can't lose it 12 times in a row, right? That's just statistically improbable. All right, full charge on the fireball using that empowered uh, stock. Yeah, actually, it seems like one of Burkish's adjustments being made here is like, all right, if you're gonna be the slow moving aggressor, then I'll use the space you give me to get the wind charge that I want. And now it's eventually gonna solicit you into making bigger, riskier decisions. Still alive by a pixel, but the slover head works out for him and Burkish draws first blood in another game. Burkish looking to really come ahead with these adjustments that they're trying to work off of, but Drive reversal finally coming out from Zangief. Ramsey not wanting to deal with any of that, you know, offensive pressure anymore. All right. It's so expensive though. I still can't just get over how expensive reversal is in this game. I think given the fact that you need to very often spend a resource to generate the type of plus frame situation. Damn, Ramsey wasn't ready for the empowered dash out of the tornado. Clipped by the empty low. I'll circle back to my economics point in a second. Burkish is cooking right now. Tick throw works out for him. Oh, my kingdom for a punish counter or to make Ramsey block something. Where is the DI? It's not going to come. Instead, DR to solicit a response right back into the throw. I know you want a wall slump, Burkish. Definitely feeling a little thirsty for it, though. And the critical art on the other side could very easily turn the tables. That SPD is going to be the final setup, potentially. The punish counter oh. is going to do it. 
Ramsey so smart there. Burkish goes for the shimmy. He overplayed his hand a little bit. Been very shimmy happy trying to set up these spacing traps. And Ramsey ready for a counter poke of his own as Burkish overcommits to the fierce. Ramsey's definitely making this Geef character look like somebody to be afraid of for not just scrub busting, right? Like there's a whole lot of good stuff that Ramsey's been showcasing for us tonight in terms of pressure and adjusting tempo, but we are gonna go for the side swap here. All right, Burkish on the back foot. Nice neutral jump out of Burkish that does put Ramsey into burnout. And this is the spot where I think that Rashid the impression I get is that Rashid can really bully you out of burnout. Okay, overcommits to try to take his turn away from the level two. Oh, armors through the DI, no stun for you. Goes for the level one reversal, but the damage that's coming. Oh, he did it again. We had a rerun and Ramsey running it back, ensuring our screen actors, guild actors get all the residuals. Thank you so much. I loved it the first time. I loved it the second time. And with the replay, we get to see it a third time. So I wanted to point out how little damage that, that super level two into combo did. The replay bar covered it. But like all of these sequences for Burkish are doing like five, 10% damage total. Whereas that one punish counter Haymaker does about the same for, for Ramsey there. So it's that character. I need to see more Rashid because it might, be a bit before people really take him to the next level yeah i think the reality is uh i i think the engine allows for you to be a lot more creative in how you use